With Rocksteady's new Suicide Squad game being properly announced this weekend, it's time to look back at the very best comic book games you can play on PC. Video games were made for superpowers. Endless pixelated potential, plenty of space to glide without hitting anything, and so many virtual bricks to destroy without worrying about insurance. But not all comic books and graphic novels are about smashing goon faces and doling out justice. Some of them are about the painfully human stories to be found in the apocalypse, or the gritty realisation that not every fairy tale has a happy ending. And before we turn the page to begin, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another list. For now though, here are the best comic book games you can play on PC right now. Let's go. If nothing else, Injustice 2 provides us the chance to finally settle those relentless playground questions. Who would win in a fight? But now that's over, Mr. J! Albeit only between DC heroes, not Godzilla and Superman, it's still a chance to settle age-old arguments without betting any more of your pocket money. Some comics do already set up epic showdowns between beloved protagonists, but Injustice 2 is your chance to change comic book history. Rematch Batman and Bane, break up Black Canary and Green Arrow, or turn BFFs Harley and Ivy against each other. You rewrite the stories. And some of the costumes too. There's a catalogue of gear to mix and match for your ideal hero. Then we have the cinematic campaign that is pretty much getting to fight your way through an amazing DC film. So it's not just co-op brawling with your buddies, but getting to feed them to a dinosaur is pretty enjoyable. The whole point of this video was to make sure we have the most accurate collection of the very best comic book experiences you can have on PC right now. But the first game I'm going to mention is to repeat the most important entry from our last superheroes list. Rocksteady's Arkham Trilogy is a tour de force of Batman antics. Other than Spider-Man on PS4, no other action game has ever come close to the brooding joys of soaring through the skies of Gotham or the smug satisfaction of a gargoyle-based takedown. I don't like this. While the third game has a serious love-hate reaction when it comes to the essential use of the Batmobile, nothing has quite reached the surprising highs of the original Arkham Asylum. A game that beautifully balances skull-crushing, crunchy violence with an essential comic book story. This series is a love letter to the Dark Knight. No joker. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! Okay, there are many Batman games out there, but for true comic fans, Telltale's Batman The Enemy Within looks and feels like stepping into the pages of a graphic novel. Oh, excellent. This is a sequel to Telltale's previous Batman series, which is definitely worth having a bat scan of, but isn't essential if you want to dive in here we get to experience a dark, gritty Gotham, one that makes the classic tights and pals seem like a totally different world. And this time we're facing off against Riddler, a foe weird and creepy enough to rival any pure Joker plot. Clever. You'll need to solve his puzzles with that well-known detective prowess. He isn't the world's greatest for nothing, you know. Uncovering clues and using glowing bat tech. It being Telltale, you'll need to make some difficult decisions, but the toughest of all is not being able to grab your friends in a Kevlar-hardened hug. If only I could hold you, Commissioner. It's all going to be okay. I'm sorry for your loss. If you were missing the Joker, it's important to point out that while Mark Hamill's turn as Batman's nemesis in Rocksteady's world is award-worthy, he also plays the clown prince of crime in TT Games' LEGO DC Supervillains. 
here, instead of steering those ridiculous goody two-shoes, saving cats from trees and the like, you get to don the Danish plastic boots of a true villain. And it's an evil mastermind of your own design. Spending at least half an hour on your character creator is par for the course, as you suit yourself up as someone to haunt Batman and cause nightmares. Choosing your outfit and powers is one thing, but here you can even change the colour and effects of your jump slams, making it even more of a joyous plastic toy box than ever before. Throw in the usual happy-making puzzles and a smart script, and it's enough to have you perfecting your own evil laugh. <laughs> Yes, we're talking about Telltale again. But the now, sadly no more, studio not only brings our favourite comics to life, but also expands on the stories we already know. If you're a fan of the Fable series, The Wolf Among Us serves as an amazing prequel. The gritty Fable Town is home to many beloved childhood characters, from a mysterious Snow White to our protagonist, the Big Bad Wolf. So even if you haven't read the series, there's some familiar faces you'll love picking out. Although in this world, there's a gruesome murder to solve rather than a glass slipper to find. Like we've grown to expect from Telltale, it has that hand ink style reminiscent of a top quality graphic novel. So your eyes won't need to adjust too much from page to screen. Although you will need to get used to the story being affected by what you do. It's no longer the writer's fault when things all go wrong. Oops. Sorry about that. It's time to take a quick breather between comic book capers with something that bit more agonizingly heartbreaking and tense. The Walking Dead and its subsequent seasonal sequels make a perfect graphic novel treatment. Taking Robert Kirkman's world and creating new characters meant removing the shackles of any reader's preconceived ideas of how things should play out. Instead, the story of Clementine's survival in a world of shambling monstrosities is a stressful and poignant one filled with the gradual realization that zombies aren't really the problem here. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. The original season was the first time we'd ever seen Telltale Games' choice and memory-based system, making it all the more nail-biting when you didn't know how long those memories lasted and how diabolical the consequences could be. With unique characters and a constantly thrilling story, The Walking Dead is a hallmark for narrative fueled gaming. What the hell is this? Yes, this is the second LEGO game on this list, but that is a testament to how artfully it handles our favourite comics. Marvel Super Heroes is one of the best games set in the universe, bricks or no bricks. It has a huge cast of characters to play as, from classic favourites such as the Avengers to memorable X-Men and some heroes that have yet to make it to the movies. One day, Squirrel Girl all of which you can let loose on the huge open world of Manhattan. There you can explore as you like, trying out those flying, shrinking and building powers. Or just seeing how much of the world will break into pieces. You Avenger guys are really great at making a mess. This story is equally enjoyable with a friend or alone, giving us that classic Lego charm of solving puzzles, plenty of jokes and of course destroying everything. I will never get tired of smashing stuff as Hulk. Take that, bricks! Readers of Batman graphic novels will know that the Dark Knight's world, by its very nature, is terrifying. Yet few games have managed to convey the fear at work in Gotham more successfully than Batman Arkham VR. And that's probably because you are Batman. You live here. There's no spinning around admiring biceps bigger than all your puny muscles put together. Gazing out at Rocksteady's world in all of its grimy glory from beneath the cowl is glorious wish fulfillment as you clip batarangs to your belt. But this perspective isn't for the faint of heart. Come on, we need to get out of here. 
Batman VR airs on the world's greatest detective side of things rather than goon smashing. But crime scene analysis is atmospheric and there's a particularly tense trip to investigate the morgue. All in all, it's a short, sharp shock of an adventure with a glimpse of the true darkness bubbling under the surface of the Arkham Trilogy's fisticuffs. Previous convictions include kidnapping, torture, extortion. If the aforementioned wolf detective isn't your thing, how about a cat detective? Black Sad is a noir-style comic about anthropomorphized animals. The sleuth adventure sees you solving the suspicious death of a boxing club owner while also tracking down his missing star fighter. Under the Skin is true to the original Spanish publications, fitting somewhere between the second and third stories. It's also a chance to have your say about what John gets up to in New York. You can search for clues, interrogate NPC animals, and use your heightened feline senses to make some, well, catty comments. It should start to swell any moment now. But it's how you do each of these things that can totally change the story. If you're cold with one witness, they might be less willing to open up in the future. And if you're understanding, they might be there to help out when you need it. Although some hot and cold behavior can be expected. He is a cat after all. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Okay, this might seem like it's only half a comic book pick, since 50% of the roster comes from games. The clue is right there in the title. But the remaining superhero characters are so gloriously OTT that we hope you'll let this one slide. And, in our defence, there are plenty of Capcom comics as well. Not only is Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 an explosive, vibrant beat-em-up with limitless tactical scope, but it's also a love letter to many of Marvel's left-field characters. Yes, you've got big hitters like Hulk and Spider-Man, but they're nestling alongside such niche fighters as Shuma Gorath, Dormammu and Taskmaster. And there's a manipulative thrill in teaming up these legendary heroes with people they probably hate. Which, in the case of mutagenic floating murder trash can Modog, is basically everyone. We feel you, evil dustbin buddy. Death is like candy. So, those were the best comic book games you can play on PC. Let us know in the comments what you're reading at the moment, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. For more videos good enough to rival your favorite graphic novel, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when an upload lands.